Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Brave Browser, just to let you know that the weekly security updates have arrived. And Brave rolled out the update late yesterday in my region on the 11th of June. Now once the update is installed, Brave Browser is sitting on version and build 1.79.123. That's been pumped up from 0.119. And the Chromium platform is sitting on 137.0.7151.104. Now, the security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium platform include two security fixes. Both are high severity. That's your second highest ranked vulnerability. And they are listed as number one, use after free in media. And number two, type confusion in V8. That's the V8 JavaScript engine. And those are common exploits which in some cases can get patched on a very regular basis. And the good news is there's no critical vulnerabilities and there's no zero days. So make sure your browser is up to date sooner than later. And as I always mention on the channel, it's very seldom I come and look in the About Brave page to check if I've received the update. And it's not there. Brave is very good at updating itself in the background, as I've mentioned numerous times on the channel. Now... We also get a couple of fixes that have rolled out. Now, first of all, if you are using Brave Leo, which is the AI chatbot, Brave says it's improved the citation user interface. And then there is a security fix for the browser where they fixed missing DDNS navigation throttle for subframes, but that's quite a mouthful, but just take note, that is a security fix for the browser itself. And then we get two crash fixes, which are always important when crashes are addressed. Now, the first fixes a crash, which occurred when clicking on the view site information icon in the address bar while having don't allow sites to scroll and zoom share tabs enabled. So that's a small niggly issue. And then the next crash fix fixes an issue which occurred with the save autofill prompt in certain cases. So, so two crashes have been fixed according to Brave. So quite a bit going on with this latest update. And we're still waiting for Microsoft Edge, which always seems to be lost in the week to get the weekly security fixes. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.